The headlines for this article reads, Billy Porter is turning heads on the Oscars red carpet. But to me, this is no more than a minstrel show. And you wonder why black men are the laughing stock of the world. You wonder why the so-called black men are the laughing stock of the world. And what's even more crazy, it appears that black men get more respect as a woman than he gets in his natural state of being a man. He's more protected by this demonic system than he is as a black man in his natural state. It appears that black females respect him more, impersonate him more, and even idolize him more than if he was in his natural state. This is the state of the modern day so-called black male. And anyone that does not grab hold to this agenda is considered hate crime, is considered homophobic, is considered a person that is insecure with his own sexuality. This is how they bully black men to give up their masculinity and submit to a state of being that God did not create them to be. They're not content with being a man. They have no knowledge of how to be a man. And I'm talking about this new, uh, how can I say, and I, and I spoke about this in prior videos, how black men have become androgynous, both male and female. And you have some black dudes that feel the only way they can make it in life, or the only way they can get respect in this life is to go back and forth, shape-shifting, from a man to a woman, from a woman to a man. He's confused about himself. And we're talking about the new subhuman species that I spoke about in videos of the past. And you wonder why black men are the laughing stock of the world and no one takes the black man serious until he gives up his masculinity. Notice a lot of black males that give up their masculinity are the ones that become popular on social media and also in Hollywood. 